Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Rock Shop with Ralph. Tonight, I have multi-instrumentalist, mixer, producer, member of Hardline. And I said producer, but he's the in-house producer of our friends at Frontiers SRL Records. He's worth, worked with some of the biggest names, such as, and I'm only throwing a couple, George Lynch, Johnny Gioelli, Dean Castronovo, Doug Alberts, Jack Blades. Those are from Revolution Saints. They're in the band, but I'm just throwing the names out there. And many, many more. I can't even list all the names he's worked with. Let's welcome my paisan, Alessandro Del Vecchio. Ciao, Ralph. Ciao. <laughs> are you doing all good? I am excellent, brother. I am excellent. Now that I got oh. you, because, because getting you on the show, I think I would have had a better chance of getting the Pope on here. Well, you know, uh, you wrote me and uh, the messages went into the spam folder. So yeah. I was like. Is that oh, what's God. happening with a lot of the other guys? <laughs> you know, I, my spam folder is like. Yeah. And gigantic right now. And uh, I don't know why it does that, but, you know, it's. That's OK. It's that, that side of, of Facebook. But th thank God I looked into it is at least like every two months. I look I look. Yeah, so it writes me and, and I was like, oh, man, wow, he wrote me like seven million times. <laughs> yeah, it was like a pain in the ass. I'm like your wife. Are you married? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting married. OK, OK, you're going to see. Okay. You're going to see. No offense to my wife, but, you know, they like to they like to nag and they like to keep on top of you it. Know, so tonight, tonight you're going to. Yes, yes. But that's OK. We'll, we'll... Fury. I'm good. But listen, I'm super excited to have you. I always use that word, super excited, because I, I'm telling you, I was we were talking before. Um, you're you're a multi instrumentalist, you're a mixer, and you're a producer. Last night I had a producer, Bob Marlett, on, and wow. and we were like, I was like a, a little kid picking his brain, asking him all questions, and he he told me some stories, and it was a great interview. So that's what we're gonna do today with you as well. We're gonna pick your brain a little bit. We're gonna talk about your career. But the first thing I want to talk about is I always start in the beginning, but today we're doing things a little bit differently. I'm starting with your current project. Your current project is called Edge of Forever. Yeah. You just did a live stream on Facebook, which I watched. And I got to tell you, man, you got some voice. Because I'm Italian. That's why. Hey, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, we taught well, the world yeah. how to sing, right? Yeah, but, uh, you know, the funny thing is that Edge of Forever is where everything started back almost you know, more than 20 years ago. So that's how it started uh, back, back then. And uh, in uh, 2004, we had our first record out and it was my introduction to the hard rock AOR world. And, uh, and the band is still on where, you know, we, we went through like line, lineup changes and uh, a little bit of, you know, silent times. Um, but uh, now we're back and we also have a new record that's coming out next year. 2022, right? It's already done and delivered. Ah. To yeah, yeah. Cero, but, Cero yeah. Perugino. Yeah, Perugino. Pero, oh, Perugino, I'm sorry. That's right, Perugino. I know, I know, I know. A-E-O-U. I know the vowels. I know the whole thing. But, you know, you got to understand something. I'm from Queens, where, where your boy Johnny grew up. So my accent and my dialect is a little bit different. Yeah, yeah. Where, <laughs> where are you from uh, exactly, like okay. in Italy? Um, I'm from Naples, a town called Nola. Wow. You know that Frontiers is from Naples. Yes, I know. Yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah. But that's, you know, that's where my family's from. We're from originally from Nola, Nola the body. But um, uh, that's where we're from. And, um, but I... I was never there. My, I still have family there. I, it's one of my bucket list. I want to go back there. I, I want to meet my family before they're all gone. But um, keep my fingers crossed. Yeah, you but, should go. Uh, it's, you know, Naples and the, the whole area around Naples is one of the most beautiful places in the world, I, what, which is where I come from because I live in the north, but we're from the south. I'm from like 100 kilometers from Naples. and I mean, when you're when you're from there, you're like, ah, it's your heart is there. So I know it's like New, it's like New York, uh, Alessandro. You know, I live in New York my whole life, and people ask, "Oh, did you ever go to Statue of Liberty? Did you ever go to the Empire State Building? Did you ever go here?" And I'm like, 
No, I pass it all the time. You know, it's like you yeah. see it, but you know it's there and it's part of your culture. But you take, you know, sometimes you lose sight and you don't realize what's in front of you. I understand what you're saying. In Italy, it's it's party, it's party. You know, and when you leave there, you miss it. Same thing with me. When I'm out of New York, I miss it. You know. So Edge of Forever, I want to give uh, props to the band that you have. Okay, you have Aldo Lonabile on guitar. You have Nick Mazzucconi on bass. And we have my boy, Marco Di Salvia, the drummer from yeah. Hardline. He's in that yeah. band as well. Yeah. Marco is uh, one of my... One of your go-to guys. I, yeah. I mean, we, we've been friends and he's, I don't know, I had him like in four, five, six bands and I guess 10 albums or something like that. Right. And yes, when uh, when I changed the lineup, uh, you know, I just uh, Nick was already in the band uh, since our uh, previous album from 2010, and I just wanted the best that I could get for the sound that I had in my head because I wanted to to have a m- more like a deeper, more aggressive sound, and I I had I had the vision in my head, and I was like. I think that if I get Aldo, Nick, and Marco, I'm gonna get that. So what and, you what uh, you did? What, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, and uh, it worked out like, and when when I heard the the new lineup play, I was like, oh man, why didn't I do it before? Right. I should have played it before. Well, the, yeah. the songs that I heard, and which I because I'm just getting into. I'm being honest with you. I'm just getting into Edge of Forever now. Yeah. Okay. I, the the last album, which was Native Soul. Okay. My favorite songs on there are Carry On, Edge of Life, Promised Land. I love, love, love Promised Land. And one of my favorites, you didn't do it, though, is Ride With The Wind. Oh, yeah, that's uh, more like a hidden track. Yeah, yeah, you didn't do that on the live stream. Yeah, we didn't do it. Uh, yeah, we, we only had half an hour. So, yeah. you know, we had to, you know, make some compromises and get songs from the first albums and... So, so I know. We, had to, we had to pick and choose what yeah. we could. Too many hits, so little time. Well, well let me I ask you I this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you, did you, did you have, now this band, do you not, not want it to sound like Hardline? Well, I, I don't want it to sound like Hardline at all because I don't want it, you know, what, especially with the, with this big outcome of music that I have, and the opportunity to ride for all these great artists and bands and actually to be asked to be part of such great bands i need to detach and 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 try to give personality to right. you know hardline has to has to sound you know hardline and edge of forever has has to be something different you're the same and whoever i work with it has to sound you know, different because otherwise I will, you know, I will start crossing, you know, all the, all the ropes and, you know, and yeah, and I got get you. Angled in, in, into something that that won't last, but it's been working for you know now. Yeah, I know. Now, years. now you have you have the new album coming out in 2022, so we're going to look forward to that. But the yeah. name of the band is Edge of Forever. It's Alessandro's baby. He's the lead vocalist, multi instrumentalist on it, uh, and producer, of course. Um, let's talk about some of the bands that you work with, because now here's where I start to pick your brain and I'm starting to get the, the fan in me is coming out. OK, yeah, I'm going to throw some names at you and you can give me uh, your take on it. Let's my phone, the wife. <laughs> let's <laughs> let's talk about Revolution Saints, who I don't know how these guys aren't huge, huge. They're big. I love them. I support them. But. The three albums you did with them, Jesus Christ. I mean, you talk about top quality production, top quality musicianship. I mean, the, the first album, I mean, when I heard, you know, when, when I heard the first song, I mean, Jesus, I, I was like, wow, this is great. So what can you tell me about working with uh, Revolution Saints? Back on my trail, I, I was, I drew a blank for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back on my trail was one of the first songs that I wrote for, for Revolution Saints, and it's actually my biggest hit uh it's uh and it's a song that really changed uh my the way people 
saw me back then because I went from uh, being in the scene and touring mostly with, uh, I did hundreds of gigs with uh, Ian Pace and Klein Hughes from Deep Purple and I was uh, doing lots of things, but I went from there, from there to Hardline with Fever Dreams and people were like, oh my God, where is this guy from? Don't say that yet. We're going to talk about Hardline. We're going to yeah. talk about and that. Then, uh, three years later, uh, I got the call to work with uh, Revolution Saints and Back on Madrid came out. So, and people could really see the growth that, that I had during the years. And, uh, and honestly, I mean, the, the first album is still uh, one of the most amazing experiences that I've ever had in my life because I flew from Italy. We recorded in the U.S., so I had the chance to fly and kind of live the dream of any wow. producer uh, kid want to be a rock star. I flew to, to the U.S. We worked uh, in uh, Oregon. And uh, I remember the first day I was like, okay, Jack, you're one of my favorite producers and some writers. I, I'll be very respectful. And 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 same thing with, with uh, Dean and, Je- and, and Doug. Doug. But they were they were like, no, Ali, you're you're the producer. So right. you're the guy in charge. we 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 chose to work with you. We're totally fine to work with you. So we're we're trusting your vision because on the on the first album I wrote like 90% of the songs. So it was actually was really like Frontiers' baby and 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 my baby. So and and it was the first project like that that we were about to do. So like embarking in this big adventure of putting together like a super group yeah like a real like a like a champions league super group and uh it was amazing it was very natural and um i actually could finally you know breathe and be like okay maybe everything was worth every every sacrifice every every second spent in rehearsal rooms and 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 everything that i did to get there was worth because i i had the appreciation of three of my favorite musicians and i was like i'm in the same studio with this right. guy you know and uh and uh yeah and also on on, on the first revolution saints there's uh, a song called way to the sun that's featuring uh neil sean, neil sean. and it's jack dean and i singing lead vocals all together in the song and i was like <laughs> holy cow and you also had arnel Pineda on you're not alone yeah 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 true yeah you so know? I, yeah i mean it was it, it's wor- it was really it's worth you know, the wait that, yeah worth the you know the a whole life you know? well as as a fan as a fan i'm going to tell you that is I mean, you did three albums with them, and I, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for the fourth. We're going to talk about the other two real quick because you have so so much to talk about and so little time. So I'm trying to condense everything. Um, did you know that Dean could sing like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I saw because I saw Journey, Journey Life, and he sang Mother, Father, and Still They Ride. And right, right. On it, so I knew I knew that that we could really pull off something something great. But uh, and and. And I wanted to write, I wanted, I really wanted to write something that could, could uh, have Dean beyond what everybody thought. Right, that he right, right. But, I mean, up, 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 up to that point, he only sang covers. Right, and, exactly. Uh, yeah, we couldn't create a, we couldn't create a personality out of that. But yeah. uh, we, you know, we created a stamp. And uh, I think that, you know, the way Doc plays and the way that Jack plays and the way that Dean sing and, and sings and plays, it's all, you know, put together, it's unique. It's and it definitely unique. is. It definitely is. Now, just so the fans know, I mean, I'm sure they know, but I want to make sure you they do know, if in case they don't, Jack Blades from Night Ranger on bass, Doug Aldrich, one of my favorite guitarists ever, from Whitesnake, Dio, Burning Rain, who you worked with. Um, so many others, Lion, and of course, friend of the show. He was coming on, but he had to cancel because I think he's back in this small little band called Journey. Um, Dean Castronovo on vocals and drums. Now, we're going to move on, but I just want to say one thing about Dean. 
I love Dean's voice. I love how he plays. But I don't know. I think at some point he's going to have to come out from behind the kit and just sing. You think that'll happen? Uh, I don't know. It's Which hard. One? Me being a drummer, playing, I'm a drummer as well. Playing and singing on, on a nightly basis, I'm just saying, you know? Well, you know, we, we, when we played in Italy for, 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 for the Frontiers Fest, uh, Dean came up front and he sang one or two, I think two songs. Uh, honestly, uh, as a fan of Dean, I want to see Dean play and sing. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, I don't care. I love Dean. I, I, it's the whole, I'm only it's giving the whole my opinion as a drummer. Yeah, it's the whole combination. Yeah. It's the whole combination that I love. And uh, and it's part of the sound. And uh, it didn't, it sounded it sounded right, but it does. It didn't sound like when he was playing behind the kit. Uh huh. No, oh, so you're guess, saying you're saying a, whole, the whole part of the the the, the ambiance and, and the dynamics are Dean playing and singing. I yeah, got you. Yeah. Well, the second album. I wonder. We, I'm trying to go through these real quick because I know we're pressed for time. The second album has by far, I believe, it's the, one of the best songs that I don't understand why it wasn't a monster hit. You know what song I'm talking about? I don't want to change a thing. I wouldn't change a thing. No. Freedom. <gasps> Wow. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's uh, that's you know, it, it came out as a single. But I can't uh, believe it. That song was. I was like, wow, what a hook! It's st- and it stays in. I always so- call these songs earworms. I said it in my past interviews. It's like a worm that stays in your ear and it doesn't leave. It just stays there. Freedom, you know, sweet freedom. It was like I was like, wow, that song's gonna be monster for them, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying the albums don't do well. I'm sure they're doing well because they, they released the third one. It's just, to me, a band like that, and, and I blame this on the fans too because we have to support. We have to buy the CDs. We have to buy the merch. I always say this all the time. And then they'll come and play in America, you know, which we're going to talk about real quick. But that was the second album. The third album released last year during COVID, I guess, got sh- lost in the shuffle because every everybody's albums too during covid this freaking pandemic screwed us and they have when the heartache is gone and when the heartache is gone and the price you pay those were the two standout tracks from that album and you produced all three of them and wrote on them as well but that yeah. last that last album you used some outside writing as well right well we we always used uh outside writers. I thought more more than more than most you yeah, used more more than than the than the first two and uh you know we just you know we just wanted some new blood and new fresh right approach tommy and, shaw played uh, wrote on that dan Russell, yeah toto yeah okay that's awesome like i said i can't say enough about the revolution saints is that can you tell me is there a fourth album in the works is it gonna happen I come on know. i know you know i don't know you don't know <laughs> damn well, all right. We'll we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. Um, here's here's one thing I want to mention, um, uh, Alessandro. You worked with so many bands, okay? Now, as a fan, and I know the fans are partially to blame for this on the Frontiers label, and I'm not blaming Frontiers. You know, you, you get a super group such as Rated X, who you worked with. They'll they'll come out with an album, and you buy the album, and you listen to the album, you get attached to it. And then it's gone. There's no touring. There's nothing, you know, especially in the States. That's my only frustration. I'm going to name some bands that you work with where, where that happened. Let's just say, for instance, um, Dream Child with Craig Goldie and Simon Wright, who were both on, who Simon Wright was on the show. Um, same thing there, you know. Um, Resurrection Kings came out and you, you did that one. What can you tell me about Resurrection Kings? Well, you know, uh, Chaz West, Chaz West, I'm sorry, Chaz West was just on the show and also uh, Vinny Apice was on the show. Yeah, I mean, uh, Resurrection Kings just, uh, uh, I I remember, I I already worked in the past with uh, Vinny and uh, I remember one day Frontiers was like, would would you work with uh, Craig Goldie? And I was like, (laughs) you don't even have to ask. Right, from Dio? uh, Yeah, and, uh, and the good, the very good and very specific to Resurrection Kings thing is that uh, uh, Craig and I write a lot together. So it's got a, a, a heavy trademark of Craig's signature riffing and guitar playing all over it. And so it's uh, it's really uh, like a vehicle for him and for the band to sound 
different from any any anything else and i guess the my melodies and my writing with uh craig's writing and the arrangements and the the different twist of things that can happen with a drummer like like vinnie and and a singer like Chaz, it all becomes just unique it's you know it's like it's like revolution saints but uh but on a on a heavier uh base when you when you get hired I hate to use the word hire, but you do. When you get hired to produce an album, does does the band tell you, listen, this is the sound that we want. Can you get this sound? Or you have a vision and say, I want it to sound like this and then go from there. Well, it, it depends because sometimes artists have a vision. They don't know how to get there. So they need a producer to guide them through the, you know, through the whole process and uh but sometimes they just rely on the producer to they they pick a producer because that producer's that that producer has that particular sound that they want right, to have right. so they go like well just uh make it sound like us through you so and yeah. that's the that's the most rewarding part of it but also when uh when there's a band like uh like uh when i when i worked with uh, the end machine that i just mixed uh, I didn't produce, but I knew the sound that they wanted, yeah, and yeah. my my part my part in the process was just to accomplish that. And uh, but still, you know, having my my trademark because obviously when you when you mix, there's the the whole secret of your sound is there anyway. Okay. But, okay. Uh, but yeah, but uh, but but Jeff as a producer, Jeff Pilsen as a producer, picked. That's yeah, he was the he was the producer on that. The M Machine is basically the doc and band with Robert Mason, fellow New Yorker, as the singer. Now, did they say they don't want to sound like Dokken? Did they tell you that? Uh, we never <laughs> never we said never, that. We never talked about it, but as soon as I mean, especially how could it first, not? How could it not, right? But also the second, but the first one is three members out of four, right? Dokken. And the last one was his son, right? Steve Brown is his son. Oh, it's his brother. Oh, his brother. I'm sorry. And, I'm sorry. And he sounds and looks and performs yeah, yeah. Exactly like uh, Mick. So as soon as you push play, you hear that that thing. So you have you just have to take that, respect it, and make it shine. Well, I want to ask you this, because I asked Bob Marley this last night. And you can answer it truthfully, or you can say no comment, but... Let's see what you just tell me. Did you ever come across a project as a producer and you listen to the songs and you said to yourself, oh, my God, this stuff is horrible. <laughs> uh, and you yes. just say, OK, I got to I got to do the best I can. I'm hired and I got to do the best I can. You ever come across that? You have to mention names if you don't want to, but you can if you like. Well, it it, it happened and uh, and it can happen. And it's part of the 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 whole position of being a producer. Uh, I'm I'm not judgmental, and uh, I'm always ready to prove myself wrong. So if I don't like the songs and it's really and it's too tough for me to right. not see it, uh, I I have to talk. But I but I'm I'm always talking and and um, and speaking to the bands, uh, not not you know from a high from a high point of view. The like, high I'm, horse. Yeah, I'm not like. Oh, oh, these songs are shit. I, I just go like, well, I think we can, you know, manage to make it better because it would be beneficial because my, my job is to is to translate the band to the market the best way. So I'm I'm actually responsible if the songs are not good and I'm still producing the band. Part of the uh, the responsibility is right. mine. Also, Your name is on it. Yeah, but also I, I, it's not for myself. I just do it for the, for the songs and for the music. And, but you know, sometimes the bands just, you know, they're they're attached to their songs, and and the producer's job is just to pack it up, and uh, and you never know, you never know what can happen because right. you know it happened to me a few times. You're like, I don't know about this song, but then it comes out and people love it. So, and you know, so I, I don't want to be the guy that you know the guy that refused you to ah, you know, the Joshua song. Tree. Yeah, and you're like you're like you know the fool in the game for all your life. So I'm always respectful of oh you know whatever. What, what, is, what are some of the bands you you grew up with? What are some of the bands you like? Well, my my favorite favorite band 
uh, probably still today is, is Queen. Ah. Because there's there's no no other band like them, and uh, the four of them put together the right just phenomenal in my opinion. Uh, and Hardline did a cover of Who Wants to Live Tomorrow, Who Wants to Live Forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and then uh, I have I had Deep Purple and and you worked with Ian Pace. Yeah, uh, Deep Purple, Rainbow, and White Snake were like you know very very influential to, to my growth. But uh, the big change was when uh, I finally fell in love with Toto during my, ah. uh, I was 17, 18. I, I liked them, but they were a little too soft for a, for a, for a little kid. Uh, Cause I wanted more, you know, punch. Yeah. More, more, you know, have your stuff. Hold the line is a pretty soft song. I have a pretty yeah. hard song, hard song. I mean, the- the first song that I heard was Georgie Porgy, and I was like, what's... Georgie Porgy, put him yeah. pie. You know who I sings was... that? Cheryl Lynn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She has, a, she has a major disco hit. You know what song that was? No. Come on, you don't know that? To be no. real. Got to be real. Really? I yeah, that was her. Yeah. Hey, do you hear a doorbell ring? I just heard a doorbell. I heard was something. Was it mine or yours? I don't know. It sounded like yours. Ah! I don't know, it might be somebody. Right. Who the hell is this? We got somebody crashing the interview. But my video's not working. I don't know why. And I'm looking Just sexy. Started. Hit, hit start started. video. Sexy for this video. I'm too sexy for this video. <laughs> hey, what the hell we got going on here? Ralphie, how you doing over there? <laughs> hit oh, start man. video, Johnny. Come on. What are we amateurs here? I don't know what the hell's going on with the video. I'm trying. I'm going to leave and I'm going to come back in, okay? All right. Well, we we blew it anyway. We got your friend coming on here. I wanted to surprise you. Video <laughs> bomb in us. Ciao, Johnny. Hey, brother. How you doing? I love you, man. <laughs> I love you, too. I love you, too. I, I want to see. I don't see you. He's coming back. I'm coming. I'm Just coming. Hit, hit. You're gonna you're gonna witness my beautifulness <laughs> in about two minutes. I'm gonna log off. I'm gonna come yeah, back. Yeah, log off and log back on. I don't know why. If you're naked, on. just don't come back. Yeah, no, I'm coming. I'm taking over this damn interview. This is my yeah, show. yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, Alessandro, that's why I did everything from big, uh, from newest to earliest because I was trying to surprise you with Johnny, but we got it. He's gonna come back, and uh, I love Johnny. What a great guy, <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Johnny is. One of my absolutely best friends. Awesome. And, and I love him. He's, he's, he changed my life and brought me uh, a whole different perspective on so many things. And he's, he's one of, he's one of the, the few people, very few people that I have there in high regard. When I, when I do things, I'm always like, oh, what, what, what would Johnny do? What would he think? And uh, yeah, I, I, and, you, and <laughs> yeah. you know why he's the best friend? He's from Queens, where I grew up. And, and that's how we are. We wear our emotions on our sleeve. We tell you like it is. There's no holding back. And we're on, if we're your friends, we're your friends to the end. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's how we very, are. That's, very, that's also very Italian. And uh, yes. yeah, but, you know, Johnny, when, you know, can you imagine? Uh, Double Eclipse is one of my favorite records. Right. And, uh, when uh, when uh, Serafino wrote me to get in touch with Johnny because he wanted me to write for Johnny, I was like, would you, would you write f- with Johnny for for his solo album, first job in Frontiers? And I was like, <laughs> you're kidding me! And then when we started to work together, we bonded. Ah, oh, here he comes. Let's see again. if he comes in. What the hell is wrong with the video here? You gotta push start video. I'm doing push start video. Uh, well, we could keep you on audio then. Yeah, but I want to oh, see him. Yeah, but I'm having such a good hair day. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, it's got to be your internet connection, Johnny. I don't know what the hell's going on over here. Did you using your phone or your desktop? I'm using my desktop, and it zoomy zoomy wanted an update, and this I'm gonna I may switch to the phone. Yeah, go to your phone and come back. It's not a big deal. We, yeah, yeah. we get, we still got a, we still got a couple minutes. Are we all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're fine. We're talking. We're having a blast here. Oh, yeah, exactly. now that you're here, we can go on forever. We can okay, start right. again. You know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do the zoom from the phone. I'll be back in a little yeah. bit. All right. You hey, Alessandro, is he like that in the studio? Yeah, I'm an idiot. 
I'm a total idiot with this stuff. I, I sing, I, bro. I, I'm a I, singer. I don't do this electronic shit. I'm okay, always, I'll be back. I cannot stop laughing when you, when I'm around <laughs> Bonnie. So let me every, give you let me give you before we get into Hardline because that was the big surprise. We're gonna get into Hardline. I'm one of my favorite bands. Um, tell me what it's like. I gotta ask you. All these live albums you've done, they all they're all live from Milan, right? You did Taiketo yeah. Life from Milan, Mr. Big, Quiet Riot, Steelheart, LA Guns, all these bands, and uh, it's all Life from Milan. Is that like a festival that you work at? Uh, and yeah, because it- here's, you know, most of them were taken from the Frontiers Fest, uh, which was happening a few years ah, ago. Okay. Uh, yeah, but Mr. Big was uh, live on its own. They were on tour, and we, you know, they asked me to produce the the, the live show in milano and uh they just called it live in milan very yeah let me it was get a here. great search for a great title very original title yeah. <laughs> yeah. on all of them yeah <laughs> let's see if we get them now let's see <laughs> can your boy see me no what the hell is going on here that's you johnny yeah, i'm telling you all right, let me just see here. I see this here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, you might have did there something there. There, there he go. is. Brace yourself for the. Whoa! Oh, Ladies oh. and gentlemen, friend oh. of the show, my fellow Howard Beach native, Johnny Gioelli. Woo! <laughs> How you doing, brother? Hey, man, I'm good. I'm hey, good. Alessandro, I- we were planning this for days. Me and Johnny. I call. I texted gonna... him. I said, Johnny, listen. I got. I finally got the Pope. I call you the Pope. I finally got the Pope. <laughs> <That's> you? <laughs> what happened? I'm bored. I le- oh, I you le- got some ink. I left you clean. What'd Did you, you get, Johnny? Oh, what happened, <laughs> Johnny? What'd you get? Uh, no, it's a sticker. Don't oh, it's excited. a sticker. Ah, uh, no. you phony. Come on, get the real <laughs> ones, baby. Look at this. Look at my boys my- on there. Dio, baby. The- what happened, my Dio. son? Ran- Said, my, son rock and roll. Said, my son Brandon said, you're too old, Dad, to get a tattoo. Oh, get I said, out what of here. are you talking about? I'm in the rock and roll business, Brandon. He said, like, Dad, <laughs> don't do it, Dad. Don't do it. So I went, I got some stickers and shit, and I put it all over. And he came home, and he's like, no, you didn't. I said, yeah, I did it, man. I'm in. And I just haven't washed in about two weeks. So I got to take a shower maybe tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Ale, I, I love you, bro. Now we got, Josh. we got. Ralph, you have to understand, we, we were supposed to start a tour in March 2020. So I haven't seen Johnny in almost two years. All I'm right, almost, so you, yeah. I, could, I could cry. I could cry. All right. See that? We made it happen, Johnny. No, the freaking Stand. pandemic. You know, it's, you know, the worst thing of the pandemic hasn't been anything than not being able to to see Johnny. I, I'm not I'm oh, not used to that so anymore because we were so used to be all the time together and out of the blue it's it's gone. <laughs> yeah I might I mean hopefully keep fingers crossed we get you you guys are back out. I know you booked some dates in 2022. Um well yeah we're trying Rafi we're we're actually scheduled in October for Spain and Germany. Yeah we have the UK coming up again. Ali doesn't even know yet I'll send you an email. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, we don't, I just, I just don't, we just don't know what the hell's going on. I don't Uh, know. Well, I miss, I miss my Ale and I miss, so here's a great story. So it was, I think maybe my first or second time in Italy. And I said, Alessandro, let's go get some coffee. Now, remember the Italians are very passionate about their coffee. So Alessandro, we get, he goes, okay, I'm going to take you to my favorite place. So we drive, we're going through the hills and the mountains and I see clouds and shit and there's waterfalls and whatever we're driving. To, and then we have to find a parking spot. We find a parking spot. We walk about two and a half miles. We just, we're going up hills. We're climbing stairs. We're going down. We have to go crawl on my knees. We're getting to this little place. And Alessandro, Alessandro said, don't worry, Johnny, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll order for you. You know, you know, you're in Italy. I got, it, I got it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. So you get there. He gets these little little shots. Remember, we drove like a half an hour. Right, right, right. So, okay, let's go. That's it. <laughs> that was it. Said, okay, let's you go. Know, 
<laughs> you know, it was my responsibility to introduce you to the real espresso culture. Did you put a little buca in there? Did you put a little zambuca in there? No, it, we don't drink alcohol, so. Really? All right, well, that's what my father I used only, to do. I only, I only saw Johnny drink once on a, on a show in Spain, right before the show. Uh-oh. We just wanted, just as a joke. But it got on stage and it was mixing up the names of the mem band members and I really Johnny. We could have yeah. like, where the hell is the queen? You're a Queens, Queens boy. Alessandro Pupu de Peppo. I mean, I had everybody. <laughs> Anna Porta Pupu. I was I was a mess. Yeah, I don't. That's no. Why let's mention the band. We're gonna start. We're gonna talk about Hardline now. We got Marco Di Salvia. That's my boy, the drummer. Anna Porta Lupe. Yeah, close. Oh come on. No, you're good. You're and, good. Uh, Marco Percudani. No, Mario. Mario. Mario I'm sorry. Ma See, I'm not even looking at my notes. I remember. Mario That's Percudani. Okay. I make the same mistake live. Don't worry. So, and I told this to Johnny the last time he was here. Now, I love Hardline. I love Johnny. I'll follow you guys into the pits of hell. That's the fan that I am. I love Thank the first you. album. Yeah, the pits of hell. I love the first album. When are we going to talk about those other albums until we got to 2012 with my favorite song? You ready? We got Del Vecchio, Vitali, and Gio Welli. The moon don't shine and I don't see my road again. Where's the light at the end? Where is my life I lost? All right. I sang the chorus the last time. I threw it at you. All right, fire me now, Al. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, now we know that we have a replacement when Johnny wants to retire or just a backing vocalist that we can put behind Bro, the stage. Listen, I'm in a I'm not even gonna tell you. I sang with the best on my shows. All right, at least Johnny to be in the top. Mark Fauner, I sang with. I sang with I don't know a couple others, but I'm not gonna mention them. But anyway, so just so you know, I'm Italian and I'm available. <laughs> and we got, how about this super group? And I'm a drummer too. Alice, uh, we could call it um, GVD or VDD. Gioelli Vitali Del Vecchio. Me. Right? Yeah. Me. I can forget tell, about tell, it. And I'll get yeah. us into all the places. You know what I mean, Johnny? In New York. Yeah, we'll get you know here. Ralph, can I tell you just one thing? Your yeah. surname is not Vitale. 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 He's been correcting me all day, Johnny. Tell you. I know, and I told him we're from New York. That's how we talk with different dialects. He's the proper, proper enunciator <laughs> in Italian. Ralphie, he's the real deal, bro. I got you. I, when it, but anyway, I want to talk about Hardline real quick. I know uh, now we're going to be really pressed for time, but yeah, I really I, quick I, bail out here in a minute because okay. I don't want to. I've crashed this enough. Yes. So go ahead. Oh no, you can. It's up to him. He's the boss. You kidding me? He's from the Del Vecchio crime family. Yeah, he um, sure is. Al, um, you hit your stride when you, and I told him this, this is no secret, when you joined the band in 2012. I feel Hardline took off when Fever Dreams came out. I mean, put him in a whole other, whole other world. And the albums that you released after that, I mean, Jesus Christ. You know, and, and we spoke about, I spoke about this with Johnny. Um, I'm not going to say pick your favorite. And I hope, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say our latest one. But do you have a favorite song that you wrote with Hardline? Who's this question Who? for? This is for, for me? Alessandro. And then Johnny's going to tell Well, mine is, uh, there's a special thing to take you home. Ah. There's a special story after. It's, it's not for what, what, what it made on the album, but it's for what it became for the live shows. And, uh, and uh, yeah. And, but songs that I didn't write, my favorite hardline song is In the Ends of Time. So... When it's in the hands of time. Hey, you know what we're going to do, guys? We, gonna do? we have our own new COVID restrictions. Since it's been so long since we've been together on the road that we are implementing Hardline's new restrictions because we're now so old and ugly. You'll have to wear your mask like this. Oh, God. Come to the show. Above <laughs> you. Know. Okay? Everyone got it? This is going to be the new restriction, and we're going to look beautiful when you do this. Okay, oh, boy. So we're going to talk about the new album, okay, which I feel, I mean, I have, my heart is with Danger Zone, but 
I really feel this one, you hit, you're, you're, you're really right where you should be. Okay. Who wants to live forever? I, I love the song. I'm going back a little bit. I'm getting confused now. Heart, Mind, and Soul is the new album. Okay. Surrender. If there was a Rocky Seven, that song should be in there. You know what I mean, Johnny? I agree, man. I love that song. I, I mean, agree. Fuel, fuel so to the fire. You, it seems like you went like it, it's it's sort of like more more guitar driven, more more hotter edge. What do you think, Al? Yeah, yeah. That that was that wasn't the aim. It just happened. And uh, but uh, yeah, for the first time, we wrote all the songs, Johnny, Mario, and I. So there was a guitarist in the equation for the first time for the whole writing process for all songs. And wait, let's not forget, Johnny's son has a song on here as well. Yeah. 80s Moment, that's another one of my favorites. We Belong is, well, he, ins he inspired it. That, that, but yeah, We Belong, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was We Belong, yeah. That was, that was inspired by him. But uh, yeah, it's, that, that one's one of my favorites on the album. Not um, because but... Brandon's involvement, I just, I just love you know, what it stands for, that connection between man and song, man, that, that bond. Right. It's, and 80s it's moment cool. is another one of my favorites. That's why I brought that up. But so what 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 do we got going? Uh would you I, I know I mentioned this to Johnny the last time. What 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 lies in the future besides just trying to get back out on the road? Do we have um good oh, question? And, and I'm sorry, I have one question for Johnny Alessandro. And I could ask you as well, because you're the producer. What's gonna happen now with Gio Novo? Oh, so yeah, I mean, we're going. We're gonna make another Gio Novo album. You definite? Because you know he's in the he's in the, back in a little band called Journey now. Yeah, they're small time. Yeah, forget it. <laughs> Don't matter how. You know, we're not afraid of anybody that feels is bigger than us, and uh, you know, we just send them a very nice letter. You don't want to fuck with us, or you sleep with the fishes. Ah. <laughs> Italians it's very, it's very, it's very easy to work with me and Johnny. We just go straight to the point. I got that. So yeah. Johnny, you think you think we can get out into New York when we go for a slice? You think he's gonna want to come and eat? We'll show him the town, eat real pizza, and and show him the he'll sights. Fit. He'll fit right in there. Believe me, he'll fit right in there. You'll think he'll fit in now because we, me oh, and Johnny, got a it? date. We're gonna go to the, our our famous pizzeria where we grew yeah, up. Park. Yeah, New Park. You'll love it. Oh, good. It's and good. we don't eat it with a knife and fork. Oh God, no, definitely not. You can fold that. You fold that baby. You fold it and you go yeah. in. Yes. Yeah. It's hey, listen, I don't want to interrupt anymore. This is Alessandro's interview. You I'm got gonna it. say hi. I Johnny, love y'all. Yes, love you, Johnny. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Hello. Thank you for Part doing this. Party. He set this I up. made we made it happen. He hasn't seen you in two years, Johnny. That was a good thing, right? It's a beautiful thing. Yes. Awesome. Ali, I love you. Johnny, uh, thanks for stopping by, brother. You got it, man. Ralphie, take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Absolutely. Ollie, I love you, man. Bye, Be Johnny. careful. Good. Ciao, Ciao, bro. Bye-bye, man. Anyway, we wanted to make that work, and it did, Alessandro. <laughs> it was but, um, very nice of you. Thank you very much for doing this. Because, uh, he, you know, he, we, spoke, we speak on the phone with, right. you know, with the video chats. But, you know, honestly, uh, we were so used to do... 50, 60 gigs a year right. and to travel together and to to know that every you know two months max we would see each other and be together for you know 24 7 and yeah. um, we just changed like I, I gotta years. I hear you I got a question for you about Harlan. I don't know if you know this you mentioned the Harlan's first album right and me and Johnny were joking about this on the first uh interview do you know who wrote the song everything with those guys um Eddie Mani? Yes, my boy Alessandro. And he told me he has a demo with Eddie Money singing singing that song. I'd love to hear that. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> now Eddie Money is from our area as well, maybe 10 minutes from where we grew up. What a oh, great wow. guy. Yeah, he's from Queens as well, Eddie Money. Uh, it's it's I mean, but I can't say enough about that Hardline's first album. And as I said, you hit your stride in 2012 going forward with all the other albums. So what what do you have in the works right now as far as, can you mention any other bands that you're working with? Uh, well, I, I have a band uh, with uh, uh, Michael Sweet, 
Nathan James, Tommy Aldridge, Marco Mendoza, and Joel, and Joel Holstra. Holstra. Yeah. Ah, you're behind that one. I had Joel on. I had Marco on the show, and I had Joel on the show. Oh, and I, cool! And yeah. I couldn't yeah, get I couldn't get anything out of them at the time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, now Nathan it's, James from Inglorious. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the record is phenomenal. I'm super excited and very proud of it. Uh, Joel, uh, Michael, and I wrote the majority of the songs, but but Nathan wrote two songs that you know you're gonna love them, and uh, it's a it's a great it's you know. Do they have a name for that band yet? Uh, not yet, or if there's a name, I cannot say it. Yeah. And, uh, all right. <laughs> and uh, then I'm uh, I'm. Uh, I'm I'm lost with all the albums that I'm doing. I'm working on a new Sunstorm. Uh right. Sunstorm with um Joel and Turner? No, uh we 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 have Ronnie Romero now. Oh, since, from uh, from Rainbow. Yeah. yeah, and we did a record last year and we're doing an and we're we're starting to work on a new one, and then I'm working on the new Jeff Jeff Scott Soto record. Yes, which, he just released that. Yeah, but we're we're working another on, one. Yeah, another one. Yeah, Jesus Christ, solo material, solo material, and Jeff, Jeff to me is like Johnny. Right awake in my dreamland. Yeah, yeah, Johnny to uh, Jeff to me is like Johnny. We're friends. We're literally brothers. We work great together, and there's a very special bond when we work together and we write together. We've been uh, we've been friends for so many years, and now we're you know we're actually working a lot together and. Uh, so I got, you know, I don't got know. Got your hands full. Now, do you get to do you get to choose who you work with? Or does Setofino say, listen, I'm sending you this guy, you got to work with him? Or do they or the, do the bands come to you? Well, it's uh both well, uh, uh Jeff wanted to work with me, so that came, you know, through frontiers, but he was like, Well, I want to work with Ale with Ale. And uh, you know, it depends. Sometimes it's the label that's you know they they have a vision for the sound and songs right. for an artist, and they just put the artist and the producer together. And sometimes it's just you know, most of the times it's the artist saying, "Well, can I work with uh, Ale or can I work with another producer?" And that's how it happens. Right. Who who do you? If there was somebody you could pick, all living, dead. Who would you want to work with? Whose album would you want to produce? You could pick anybody you want. You could pick a band or a person. Freddie Mercury. Really? Wow. How about that Living? Would, that would be that would be something because uh, he struck me when I was eleven. It was like I was totally, completely. You know, I didn't know what was happening when I heard Bohemian Rhapsody for the first time. Right. I was 10, Eleven years old. And I saw, you know, when when uh, when the Blues Brothers they they say, oh, I see the light. I see the well, light. I, I saw the light. I t it totally ch that day. I uh, I told my my papa I was like, I want to be like Freddie Mercury. I want to sing, play, write songs, and just be the coolest guy in the game. <laughs> awesome. And you know, I want to I wanted to tell you something. Uh, that producer that they had was called his name was Reinhold Mack. He produced one of my favorite Black Sabbath Sabbath albums called The Humanizer. Oh, I love it. Right? One, the, of favorite, one of my favorite albums. The sound on that, uh, Alessandro, right? The drum, the guitar sound, Dio's vocals. I can't believe that album wasn't huge. Yeah. Waiting for the revolution. revolution. Nuclear vision. Genocide. Computerized God. It's a new religion. Program the brain, not the heartbeat. And that drum intro, right? Boom, 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 boom. There you go. See that? Yeah, I had Vinny on the show. He told me that was his favorite Sabbath album too. It's phenomenal. It's yeah, just a, it's a phenomenal album. He just came out, probably you know, wrong time uh, and uh, ninety two. Yeah, and wrong marketing of it, because if you think what what Heaven and Hell did as a band. Sure. Like 15 years later, that could have that could have been dehumanizer. Such a yeah. such a great oh man. I, and I told I told Ronnie this when I when I met him. What a great guy. He's my hero. I have him on my arm. I always say that. Love you, Ronnie. He's you know, 
But I always felt like Ronnie, I, I can't believe Dehumanize it has to be one of the most underrated albums I've ever heard in my life. He goes, yeah. You think so? I says, Yes. He goes, I do too. It's exactly what he said. Yeah, it's no? a great album. It's just a great album packed of great songs and you know, production. Everything yeah. the oh, it's got a it's got an, an aura that no other albums have. Yes. I've never heard another album and I could say, well, this sounds like, no, it's just. No. And no filler of- tracks. No. no. No filler tracks, front to back. But anyway, I mean, I want to thank Alessandro for coming on the show. It's been great. I mean, what a great guy. Thanks, Johnny Gioelli, for stopping by and crashing. And we got we got a little moment between them with a little tear in their eyes. They haven't seen each other in two years. But, um, Alessandro, I wish you continued health, wealth, and happiness. You're, you're part of my family now. You're part of the Rock Shop family. You can come back anytime you like. I'll support you, and my fans will support you because I'll tell them we got to support. We got to buy these CDs. We got to buy the merch to get you guys to come to New York. You yeah, know? And- Anytime you want, you, you you see an album and you want to talk about it, uh, just, you know, get in touch with me and we'll yeah. we'll make it happen. Thank you. And I've interviewed a lot from Frontiers. I've worked, I've, I've interviewed Chez Kane. Um, she was with the band Kane. She's more an 80s sounding singer. Um, I interviewed her. Chaz West is on Frontiers. Vinny's on Frontiers. The band Scream Machine, Italian metal band. I interviewed yeah, them. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. He was on here. Another Paisan. But a lot, a lot of people from Frontiers. I support you guys. You guys are doing I tell Serafino I said hello. Uh, because I I love the music that comes out of there. He keeps he keeps our era of music alive. You know? Yeah, thank Nobody you else yeah. is doing it. You know, Serafino, Serafino is a is a mentor for me. He's a, is a friend where we've been we had a now more than 10 years. Uh no, actually 10 years now, like 10 years in a month. Uh, relationship we've been working great we've made in my opinion we the combination of his vision and and my humble talents just created some music that can stand the test of time and just made people happy and uh you know we just uh i i i'm so grateful because i i had all these you know songs in me i knew that i had all this music in me and uh that i you know imagine I could play all these instruments. I could sing, I could write, I could produce and I needed an outlet, but it's not, it's not easy to find, you know, a, a, a label that goes like, right. well, who, who, who do you want to work with? Exactly. And, uh, and I made a list. Like I remember the first name that I put on the list was uh, Fergie Fredrickson from Toto. Right. Morning after. And, and you got to work I, with him. Yeah, I see an email and it's Frontiers asking Fergie if you wanted to work work with me. Joe wow. Turner. Uh uh anybody. Carmine Carmine Apathy, George Lynch, you know, I mean, Doug Ulrich, Jack Blades. You know, I I Johnny Gioelli. I, yeah, I cannot be more grateful than I am because I mean they 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 completed what I what I thought I could do and uh I couldn't find an outlet for for and, and uh, right. And, and and also like <clears throat> security in the business to be working and being able to you know to sustain a career right out of and pay the bills and, and make a living and, and do what you yeah. love yeah and uh, you know and living and living the dream right you know, I'm, I'm 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 literally living my dream I, I was dreaming to work with these people so awesome and yeah and i am too because i don't get paid this is my passion. I, I have whatever outlet I can get to get people to, to see you, you, other other rock stars per se, to support their album. And I can't stress this enough to buy the physical CD, to buy the digital download, to buy the merch. This is what keeps the bands going. It's called the music business for a reason. And I don't want to get too businessy, but, you know, that's how. And then you say, oh, why doesn't Hardline play uh, New York? Because, you know, he, they need it has to be logistically and economically efficient for them to come here. So we have to support them. But Frontiers Records, Serofino, Perugino, I love you. This man has a vision. He's keeping all the music from our era and beyond alive. He's the only wow. one that's doing it. Nobody else is. So we have to support them no matter what. And Alessandro, you're doing a great job, man. 
I am a huge, huge fan, and I'll support you, Johnny, wherever you guys go. And I'll always put the word out for you guys, always. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's yes. very appreciated. Uh, I'm humbled. Anytime, yeah. brother. Anytime. Yeah. And I hope to meet you one day, physically. I can put my hand I mean, next time, Next time that I'm in New York, I'll come and get my, my slice of pizza. And uh, Listen, we'll, we'll... me and Johnny are going. He, he only lives 10 minutes from me now. <laughs> yeah, gonna... So you're in Connecticut? Too? Well, no, I'm a, I'm across the water. I'm in Long Island, but it's oh, okay. just it's, it's just a ferry ride. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, but, good. But so anyway, now let me ex just I want to tell the fans to contact you. Your your website. Do you have your own website? Yeah, it's uh www.alessandrodelvecchio.com. Okay. And uh, I'm very active on social media. Yes. If the messages don't go in the spam folder. You'll get I'm back to them. Answering. I love I love to interact with uh, the fans and anybody who wants to talk. You know, I'm not just music. I got my vegan. Uh, shit. Oh, you're a vegan uh, too. Yeah, I'm vegan. I'm PMA. I'm, I'm okay. Edge. I'm, uh, uh, you know, I'm running marathon. So I got all my other. All right. So no, no sausage or pepperoni on your pizza. No, just just tomatoes, <laughs> tomato That's sauce, marinara, and, uh, marinara, and, and veggies. Yeah, marinara and veggies, but also marinara is my favorite with lots of garlic. Ah, uh, we're gonna get you marinara. They got a good marinara over there. But I'm <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna send you. I'll send you the interview through Messenger. So look for it, and you can post it, share it wherever you want. Okay, yeah, Alessandro. Sure. sure, I will. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Alessandro Del Vecchio. Part of the Rock Shop family, continued wealth, health, and happiness, and everything in your future endeavors. We can support you. Thank you, Alessandro. Thank you. Later, brother. Much. And we're good. Bye.